should just focus on having a good time at the Museum Benefit tonight. Half yeah. of New York will be there, as well as a horde of paparazzi. Mm -hmm. Good opportunity to promote Crimson. Look, I know. I would understand if you don't feel up to putting a smile on for the press. A little late to back out now, Kate. Unless you have a parachute. <laughs> Oh, Jess, I'm so sorry that Carly is being difficult. I had no idea that she was so threatened by me, and it's unthinkable that she would take all that animosity out on you. You know I consider you more than just a business partner, right? You're my friend. I mean, you know my secrets. You've never once tried to use them against me, nor would you ever, which is not who you are. And that brings me to my question. How did a man like you end up married to a woman like Carly. Why wouldn't I be with her? Uh, <clears throat> well, let's see. You're sophisticated, you're well-traveled, you're well-read, and above all, a gentleman. On the other hand, Carly is difficult on a good day. Well, she hasn't had many opportunities to have good days. You know, with the miscarriage and now Michael being in a coma, she's... She's overwhelmed, Yes, Kate. I know, Jax. But are you telling me that she never threw a tantrum or had a fit Okay, before? it's no secret there's no love lost between the two of you, oh, so... Oh, really? Yeah. Whatever gave you that impression. Well, I just, I see a different side of her. Okay? Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm just going to say that she is very, very fortunate to have such a patient and tolerant husband. Not to mention supportive and forgiving. Well, before you put me up for sainthood, I have to remind you that Carly's jealousy isn't entirely unfounded. We did share that one kiss. No, you're right. You're right, it's true. But that is all in the past. Right? I am right. committed to spending my life with Sonny, and let's just hope, for everyone's sake, that Carly calms down and just lets everyone be happy. Since you are king of the kitchen, I thought it only fitting that you be the one to plan our menu for the reception. I can't wait to see what you've chosen for our special day. It's open! Hey. Am I in the right place? No guards, no locks, and you? Smiling. Wow, well, you know, you gotta get used to it. This is my life now. You look very relaxed. I think it suits you. And you look very glowing at the moment. <laughs> is that the pregnancy or what's going on? You all right? Yeah, um, we had one minor scare, but we're doing much better now. It's Patrick that I'm worried about. He went from being father-phobic to suing me for visitation rights with the unborn baby. Have a seat. <laughs> well, you know, I can kind of see his instincts. I mean, you know, uh, it's better to set some ground rules now and, you know, instead of getting cut out of your child's life later. Okay, but that well, is just it, because up until a couple of months ago, he wanted nothing to do with having a baby, much less helping me raise it. Well, some change. I mean, why would he want to take yes, your court? Yes, well, the scare that I mentioned, I actually collapsed. And what do you mean? I'm, fi I'm fine now, but he was really worried, and so he asked me to move in with him. I said no, of course, and now he's doing everything he possibly can to try and change my mind. Okay, Robin, you want me to back him off? Because I'll back him off. No, no. All you got to do is... It's fine. That's right? very sweet, but not necessary. Believe me, I have my Uncle Mac and my mom interfering so much that I'm practically tripping over them. If you change your mind, you know where to come. You know, right here. Thank you. Right. That's not why I came, not to ask you for help with Patrick. <laughs> why? Um, Maxie mentioned that you are getting married to Kate <laughs> Howard. Yes. Uh, the ceremony's in the fall. That soon? Yeah. Well, that's great. I hope that uh, the two of you will be very happy. Why do you sound like you don't mean it? The reason I ask is, you know, is because getting married to Kate isn't necessarily getting a round of applause. Well, I take it Carly's not too well, thrilled about it. Carly. But, and, and Jason, that hurts. Because, you know, they think that I'm hiding from what happened to Michael, which is totally ridiculous because my son's lying in a coma 
he's on my mind from the minute I wake up in the morning to the minute I go to sleep at night. You do not have to tell no, me about how you much you me. love Michael or how your heart is breaking over what happened to him. I mean, that's the reason you retired from the mob, right? Oh, I guess the word's out. <laughs> Well, here's the thing. My, my Uncle Mac, he makes me come over to his house every Sunday for dinner. Sometimes Maxie is there. And, you know, to keep him from interrogating us about our love lives, i.e. my constant drama with Patrick, we get him to talk about work. Right. And when he mentioned that you had apparently retired and yeah. Jason was taking over things and that you were going legitimate, I have to say I was so happy for you. I actually came over here to say congratulations, but then I thought maybe that's not the right thing to say. I don't know how the mob works. I don't really want to know. But anyway, I'm happy that you're free of it. You, Kate, Mike, and Rick of all people are supportive. Everybody else thinks I'm making a mistake and it's not going to last long. Well, Sonny, I hope that they're wrong. Well. Because you... I mean, after all this time, you finally have a chance at a real future. And I know that somewhere, Stone is cheering you on. You think so? Well, I'd like to think so. I know it's not going to be easy. I know that you still have enemies. Jason's dealing with that right now. And hopefully someday he will make the same decision that you did. Well, I, I don't know if I count on that because he's settling in pretty comfortable in his new job. Well, maybe getting deeper into the mob is his way of dealing with what happened to Michael. And maybe marrying Kate is yours. One doesn't have anything to do with the other. Listen, I know you, okay? And I know that you will carry the guilt of what happened to Michael with you until the day that you die. Mm. But in the meantime, you have to find a way to just, you know, live with it. And maybe right now, Kate is the answer. Robin, that is not why I'm marrying Kate. You sure? You're still in mourning, you know, being tied up in that kind of Emotional knot doesn't allow for the best decision making. You, you're not telling me that you agree with Carly and Jason that it would be an insult to Michael to get married. Oops. Hello. Did you get my package? Yeah, I got it. It's, it's right in front of me. You still at the benefit? Uh, no, not yet. We're just about to land. Jax is in with the pilot, so I thought I'd check in and see what the menu has been narrowed down to. Uh, well, I, I really, I haven't had time to, you know, check it out. Oh, well, in case you have plans of boring yourself to sleep with the endless possibilities, you should know that when the benefit is finished, Jackson and I are heading right back, so should I go home or slip in quietly next to you? Well, what do you think? Well, never hurts to ask. I'll be waiting. Kate? You know how I know it's love. When I hear a voice, it makes me happy.